Welcome back to Morrowind, where we have evidence of the world's, of, of the universes, that NERN has the universe's closest stationary, geostationary, NERNO stationary orbit imaginable, and where we are going to enter Vivek's puzzle canal. Yes, I'm Golden Self, and welcome back. Look at that view. This is an amazing game. And we're going to head into Vivek's puzzle canal today. I don't know where it is, but we're going to find it. Um, do you know? Oh yeah, the ordinators thing. Uh, we need to go to the Hall of Justice to do that. We'll find that as well. I think the, probably the entrance to the Hall of Justice is down here. And uh, we can probably take that quest on, but just before doing the puzzle canal business. Hall of Wisdom. Hall of Wisdom is, I already know, it's the sort of the admin side. Or the, uh, it's a combination of sort of the executive and legislative branches. And the Hall of Justice is basically a combination of the judicial and military branches of the temple. Which, which governs the city of Vivek. Ah, there's the whole underworld, so we'll probably find the uh, puzzle canal entrance to be. But let's see if we can find someone here in the Hall of Justice who can advise us on... Go oh on man, this place is a maze. Hall of Wisdom. Upstairs, then. Office of the Watch. Yes, that's what we want. Yeah, some named characters at last. Tyrebrarine. My apologies for me. And you look like you have a way with... Oh, I need someone to deliver my apologies for me. And you look like you have a way with words. I'm afraid I was rather drunk last night when I ran into Trebonius Artorius, that arrogant fool. Yeah, the guy who runs the Mages Guild. He is kind of an arrogant fool, isn't he? It seems that the drink took over my tongue and I called him a flathead. Now I have a horrid rash. Or should I say, <clears throat> now I have a horrid rash. No matter what I do, no matter how many potions I use or spells I cast, it won't go away. I've tried, I sound like Sinor Card Gauge. I've tried everything. And if I give you him my most sincere apologies, maybe he'll make it go away. I do it myself, but I'm feeling a little under the weather. And I, I can feel, I feel you. It sounds like you do. I'll pay you 20 gold for your trouble. Your, trouble, your journal has been updated. Yeah, let's do it. 20 gold? What if I deny him? I'll do it anyway. Take this book to him and tell him I'm really sorry. You'll find him at the Mage's Guild here in Vivek. He's a rather powerful wizard, as I've learned. Hmm. Yeah, don't insult uh, Trebonius, it seems. What can you tell me about the Seven Graces? It's customary for every member to make a pilgrimage of the Seven Graces. Read the Pilgrim's Path. The Bemis Gang has taken up the tomb somewhere near Vivek. Alright. You must be the boss, then. Your pauldron is just as big. Chief of the Vex Order of the Watch, his name is Elam and Das, and he asked me if I have questions about his trade or if I'm looking for work. I am indeed looking for work. We've had seven killings in Vivek recently. All the, Vivek, all the victims of Vivek's killings have had their throats slit. Most did not appear to have struggled. Five victims were outlanders, two were ordinators, the two ordinators were armed and on duty. Wow. Their weapons were still in their belts. Nothing was removed from the victim's bodies. Okay. Sounds like the perfect crime. I cannot hire you. Only ordinators may serve the watch. But if you can find this killer and execute him, I personally promise you a very handsome reward. Uh, all I have to do is just kill somebody and then I can get money. Nice. I require no commitment from you. Indeed, I cannot officially accept one. But if you are interested, I can tell you what we need, what we know about the seven victims and reports of witnesses. Sweet. Let's get down to business here. What can you tell me? None of the five Outlander victims have been on Vardenveld for longer than a week. Two were found in the foreign quarter corridors. Uh, say that five times fast. Foreign quarter corridors. The rural foreign quarter corridors. The juror of the rural foreign quarter corridors was uh, one on the foreign corridor canal side, one in Halalu compound corridor, and one in the water near the arena. All were armed. Only one, a mage, appears to have put up a fight, though. All had their throats slit with a dagger. Until the two ordinators were killed, we thought it might be an anti-imperial fanatic. And it still might be. The two ordinators were found dead near the victim at uh, Hlalu compound, and we think they coincidentally interrupted the killer at work. Oh, that makes sense. 
Both had their slo- throats slit with a dagger. But usually, you know, in, in mystery stories, the police are, have the wrong idea, so you never know. Both had their throats slit with a dagger. That neither the ordinator had drawn a weapon. That neither ordinator had drawn a weapon is extremely unsettling. It suggests either extraordinary stealth or a very powerful sorcerer. That's all we know about the victims, and that's not much information from, and there's not much information from witnesses either. Witnesses, you say? There are no witnesses to any of the killings, but one in Hlalu compound. At about, but in Hualu compound, at about the same time as one of the killings, an outlander reported being threatened by Dunmer woman armed with a dagger. It was dark, and the outlander tr- transported magically to safety, so he couldn't give us a very clear description. That sounds very plausible, and very nice use of the uh, Amsivi or Divine uh, Intervention, by the way. But he was sure of the... Uh, uh, but he was sure of the Dunmer woman with a dagger, was dressed in a skirt and net leather armor. All right, Dunmer woman with a dagger. That's the only description we have. Dunmer woman with a dagger in a skirt and natural leather armor. And we don't even have the name of a witness, so we can't go interrogate them ourselves. And that's it, I guess. Anything else you can tell me about the mystery? Advice? Vivek is huge. If you observe the law, you can't get into much trouble. Wander freely. Earn, learn your way, earn your way, learn your way around. See what the craftsmen and traders have to sell. See the sights and pilgrims. See the sights and pilgrims come to see. Uh, while you're here, take a tour of Ebonheart, the Imperial Town across the lagoon to the west. A lot to see and do over there, too. Alright. Thanks for telling me. Alright, well, cool. What about the Puzzle Canal? We gotta go do the Puzzle Canal. I really don't know where to start on this mystery. Uh, do you have any advice? I guess we should just ask around. Um, they really just kind of throw you at it, don't they? Um, let's see, anything else? Seven victims. None of them were here for more than a week. None of the five outlanders. The two ordinators. We really don't know much about the people who were victims, the victims. We don't know about the victims, the witnesses, or the killers. So we just know it's a, we should probably just keep an eye out for a dumber woman. Um, a dumber woman with a dagger, a skirt, and netch leather armor. What was that? Maybe that's all we, maybe that's the, what we need to find. Is it you? No. What is this about? You're wearing that ordinator armor. There's the ordinator barracks. Maybe we can get clues there, and for that matter, maybe something about the two who were killed will be. I mean, that would be a really good touch, wouldn't it? I got some locks to pick. Ooh, I bet you I can steal some of that really cool armor. I just bet it's not my class, though. Ooh, here we, I think this is the stuff. Enderil left gauntlet. No, it's medium. But we will totally steal it. Let's put let's put it on right now. Let's get the whole set on. I don't think there's any penalty to wearing the wrong kind of armor. An expensive amulet, sure. And in here, another amulet. I'll take it. Another ring. I'll take it. Uh, don't really need either of those. I guess I could use more pants, actually. But I can get extravagant pants. Oh, here's a person. A person Outland. with a name. Redane what Hualu. do you want? A person with a name is a person of importance. What can you tell me about... Hmm. You might be a suspect is the thing. Everyone's a suspect. But none of the options here seem to be inter- interrogatory. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, the helmet. Enderil helmet. Alright, keep your eye out for House Enderil's helmet. It's weird that it's the House Enderil stuff, but we're in the temple. But whatever. There's obviously some kind of... I'm sure there's an explanation for that. Why? 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 Alright, guys. I'm going to have to just take a look around. And then I'm going to find the puzzle canal and or something and see what I'm going to do from here. All right. Well, it's time to find our way into Vivek's puzzle canal. And as you can see, I found a couple pauldrons and a helmet here as well, which look smashing. Unfortunately, they're the wrong armor class. Uh, they're medium armor. I'd love to wear them, though. But that's fine. We won't. Uh, we may do that. We may eventually do medium armor, but for now, we are light armor so far. So we may as well... Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter because we only have... Eight light armor, and we do have six medium armor, so we could wear these just around. They do look awesome.
but I'm actually going to take myself my, my carry weight is getting heavy and that's one thing that is a concern so I think I do have to stick with the light and really try to wean myself off armor altogether but I'm gonna go drop this stuff off back at um, my carry weight's getting kind of heavy and I have a feeling that the puzzle canal is gonna be full of loot snip but yeah we'll drop some we'll drop off this these trophies and stuff and basically and just uh, go from there I'll see you soon all right, well, we're back in the Mage's Guild, which means that we can, uh, at Vivek, which means that we can go ahead and finish up this little How side quest here. It Maybe quick. it's the start of a bigger quest. I don't know. Uh, apologies. This book is from Terer. By the way, it's Terer's Adrian and Dater. We already have a copy of Adrian and Dater, and I read both of them. It's a good book. Uh, we should read it together, but uh, it's very important. But um, I, it's exactly the same thing. He gave me a rising force and a potion of cursing. Um, for me, he's touched by the gesture nonetheless. Uh, even though it's about time he learned some humility, even though this guy ought to learn some humility. But that's mages for you, right? Touchy, but you know, at the same time, they are better than you. You're already a member of the Gay Mages Guild, Golden Self. What are you smoking? I'm just asking, alright? I'm just asking. It's just. So I just had the, had the impulse yes, to ask. Do what do you want? Do you have any spells, by the way? No. Well, we have a lot of money. No, oh, fine. Fine. How about you? No. All right. We gotta get those souls. Let's go to the puzzle canal. In fact, even better. At this point, we can do an alm civic intervention, and it'll it'll warp us there. Cause we're just ballers. Yes. To the puzzle canal. Puzzle canal. And we also have over here the all of uh, something else that we didn't explore. The Hall of Wisdom. But that's, I suppose, probably some ways we'll be coming to as we advance through the temple's missions. For now, let's just head to the Underworks. All right. Looks like rat time down here. I see one over there, actually. Let's get light, and then let's, let's start... Um, let's shoot that rat. Oh, here's Brad already. He's dead. I probably shouldn't waste ammo on rats if I can help it, but whatever. There's not... Oh, never mind. Got my ammo right back. Oh, this is water right here. Oh, that's alright. We have actually our special shoes on. Uh, but it's actually kind of more of a pain to go all the way down to here than it is to just hit the water walking... Uh, do the water walking thing ourselves. I guess it's more useful for the slow fall than anything else. Um, but my own water walking actually lasts, my own spell of water walking actually lasts twice as long. Oh yeah, I'm glad I turned on the light. I'm gonna need it in here. This place is a maze. Oh, check it out. We got nothing in this crate. Nothing in that one. Or, oh, we got stuff in this one though. Probably shouldn't burden myself with ingredients. Oh. Arrow. Arrow to the face. Oh, nothing. How did I contract Whitbane? Well, that doesn't matter because even if I have Whitbane, which does what exactly? Drains intelligence 28 points. Wow. But even if I have that, I can cure it. So there. Take that, Whitbane. Yeah. Woo! Feels good. Do you see that? Nice. Now. Our thing expired, that's fine. We got another tunnel, another exit. That's gonna take us to the other hall, I imagine. Probably should just look at it to be sure. Ooh, what we got what do we got down there? Anything? It's a good chance of you know this water is so clear for a sewer though, right? Is this, you know, openable or something? Oh, loose gate to Vivek Temple. Oh you know what? That's gonna take me outside. No no no, don't do that. And also don't drown. And also it looks like I need to cast water walking again. I'm stuck. Oh my gosh. Scary. Shoes. How's the charge on these? Looks pretty good to me. You can kind of see the charge is this red thing. Yeah. 283 or 383. We won't run out anytime soon. Hall of Wisdom, as I suspected. Oh, do we have more under there, though? It's very possible. Like, I didn't really look too closely if there was any other 
tunnels or anything that are underwater. I don't see anything now. Let's head down this tunnel. Alright, we'll do one more once over here, just real quick. I see nothing. My shoes! No, I'm okay. I think I will cast it again, though, because why not? Probably shouldn't. Really, the only reason to use this version is when you're when you're slow falling into water. That's really the whole idea. So I'd probably switch to um, a regular water walking, but I don't need it anyway right now. I probably should get my light spell onto my hot bar at some point here. I wish I could change zero. I really have no need for hand to hand at all. Levitate, slow fall, Ducey, the spell. I think I'll just take on Ducey off. Well. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna just have to use the light every time I go, every time I want it. You know, I, yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Oh, that's the wrong light. Better take it easy here. There could be enemies any around every corner. We still have so we still have uh, water walking on. Amazingly enough. Oh, there's a rat. I don't think it can swim, though. Oh, it's not even fair. I don't want to contract Whip Bane from it, though. Amazing. Alright, well, let's just take a look at it anyway. Get my arrow back. Thank you. Didn't contract Whip Bane. Thank you very much. Or anything else, for that matter. Let's see where this leads. Probably just back into the halls. Hall of Justice, yep. But at least we've said, we can say that we've explored it. I can look at my map and say, ah, I've been there. Oh, there's a thing under us. Alright, oh, yeah, that's just gonna lead us outside again. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Well, it makes sense if you think about the geography of the building. It's, it is shaped, and it's a big square, right? Um, so there's like, you know, the walls are all in the same places. It's all done rather logically. Let's put, uh, let's go to water walking down here this time so we don't waste charge and stuff not that there's really much of a problem and over there is some stuff it looks like that's probably the entrance yeah that looks like pilgrim type stuff no it's just a campsite which we can't uh, light or do anything with we can take it's we can take this stuff there's a sword a bedroll May as well sleep for 24 hours, because, you know, we like to be well-rested. Probably get attacked by a rat or something, though. While we're sleeping. Still, we have a lantern. Keep us well-lit. No, everything seems nice. Alright, light her up. Lantern is useless, apparently. It doesn't work. Well, I don't know. Oh, there comes a rat. Die! Take all. Well, I'm kind of lost. I'm, I'm surprised the entrance isn't down here. Maybe it's not down here. Maybe it's just actually um, a different way. I just would have thought that to go into the underworks or the the puzzle canal, you'd have to go first into the the hall underworks. You know, just go down. Let me read again about the puzzle canal. No, wait, not this. I am. Um, The Shrine of Generosity... Oh no, that's not the right one. A puzzle canal. Um, in a battle with Merunus Dagon, Vivek gave his own silver longsword to the Daedra Lord rather than dishonor himself by fighting an unarmed foe. This so impressed the Dramora, the most honorable... We read this one actually earlier, I believe. Or did we? I don't know. The most honorable and chivalrous of Merunus Dagon's Daedric servants. Those are, These are like the big buff warrior dudes uh, of the Daedra. That they, most, that they now share a bond of respect and courtesy with the followers of the tribunal, though we must never forget that they are our enemies. That makes a lot of sense. The shrine of courtesy is found in the heart of the Puzzle Canal, a labyrinth beneath Lord Vivek's palace. I'm in a wrong place. The journey through the Puzzle Canal can be confusing, and it is suggested that common pilgrims carry a scroll of whatever, and we're going to be fine. The Dramora, the Dramora Karaz is found in the center of the Puzzle Canal, and will accept a plain silver longsword. If accepted, if spoken to with courtesy. After Kroz accepts the sword, pilgrims must read the inscription on the trilith, 
and then we'll be done. Well, I have the longsword with me, so that is no problem. All we've got to do is head up. Uh oh, I don't have my shoes on. Our uh, water walking. Special shoes. Head up to the surface. Head outside. And there's a Vex Palace. When in the gold, gorgeous sunset, by the way. Remember, it was like 6 p.m. when we waited. Uh, is there an entrance here? Yeah, it sure looks that way. Here we go. Puzzle Canal level four. Let's go. Let's skip to level four. Why not? And cast Water Walking. I don't know if it's skipping to level four or starting at level four, but here we are in the Puzzle Canal. It's a puzzle, I hope. Uh, the dude is supposed to be at the center of it. There's a rat, I think, down there? Yep. Wow, I actually failed casting my Gone for Glory spell. Conjuration increases to 49. Killed the rat. Got some marksmen out of that, hopefully. Take it. Take it all. The only problem with being a mage in this game versus, like, uh... You know, Skyrim is that the effects aren't as cool. But it's still very, very satisfying in Skyrim to snipe someone with a bow versus in this game, I think. Much more satisfying in that game. This just takes me outside. Water walking is actually on my hotbar, I forgot. Uh, we need our light back, though. I think I'd rather have maybe light on the hotbar than water walking. Makes a little more sense, but for now, we won't mess with it. My illusion increased. Ooh, I leveled up. Oh, and I just slept already. Dang it. I wasted a sleep. I should head back to where that bed was, I guess, and sleep again. Uh, is it just me or is my movement slow? Yeah, my speed has been hurt by something. Am I sick? No, something just hurt my speed, and it's just... I don't get any explanation about that. That's what sucks about when you have a lower stat. Do I ever restore speed potion? I doubt it. Um, and I, I would have probably not brought one. I don't really carry around stuff like that. Um, but if I head back to the, I'm mean, at the temple for crying out loud, I can just restore myself. So no problem. Oh, you know what? I guess I'm going to go out through this door that I came in through. There we go. Now, what? let's check out the Palace of Vivek. Oh, uh, wait, how much time do I have? I only have a couple minutes. Yeah, let's check out the Palace of Vivek before we do anything else here real quick. Let's just go check it out. Levitate on up and see if we can pay a visit to the god, Vivek. Level four, as in, like, there's four levels, you see? So we can enter on any of these. I don't know if any specific one is going to be, uh... The one that we want. Oh shoot, I'm levitating slowly, aren't I? Hey, sweet, I can get a restoration right here. At the palace shrine. Do you want to leave a donation of 100 gold? Why not? The grace of generosity. Oh, sweet. Oh yeah, that takes care of our, sh our uh, pilgrimage. I shall neither hoard nor steal nor encumber myself with profitless treasures, but shall share freely among house and hearth. And, uh, I can't get in there. Level 100 lock. All right, cool. Well, guys, oh my god. Can we please take a screenshot of this? Heck yes. All right, well, I'm going to have to end the episode here. I'm going to have to uh, rest and meditate on what I've learned. Um, let's hide this and do that again, please. But I'm Golden Self. Thank you very, very, very much if you've stuck with me through this series so far. And thank you for all your support so far on the series. And if you believe I deserve it, please leave a like, comment, or, subs or subscribe for more regular content. This is another wonderful screenshot right there. Thank you very much again for watching. Bye-bye.